we've lived here for just about nine years. Um, finally back home after Sandy. The Presbyterian Church is helping us um, build a deck for our, our back deck. Um, first of all, to get our C of O, that is the first and foremost, but for us to have outside space um, that we had before. Uh, we were out of our house for two years, a month away from two years, uh, that we came home. Our youngest, who's going to be two, he never knew our house. He never knew where we lived. He only saw just the broken pieces. Um, he saw the building of the house, so he knew. It's like, okay, this is our house, but to finally be home, that word home is just, you have no idea what it changes when it's you don't have a place to be, where you can't say, okay, we're, we're going to our house. Um, our three-year-old still thinks that when we drive down the road, we're going to go to the apartment. He's like, I want to go to the apartment. <laughs> And it's like, no, it's like we're going to our big house, the big house, oh, our house. We are truly, again, truly blessed that, that we finally made it. And we're, we're just inches away from that finish line. Hurricane Sandy had such an impact because it was at high tide when it hit. And then you had the Nor'easterner. And so it was at flood stage over this bridge before Hurricane Sandy hit. That was why the flood was so unprecedented. Yeah, my name's Eric Levin, and I'm the volunteer construction manager. Volunteers will come in for a week at a time, stay at, at local churches, and, and come here. In this town of Union Beach, now, some two and a half years after the storm, there's still over 300 families who are not back in their homes. Uh, to date, uh, we've probably moved now uh, 72 families back into their homes. What we're doing here, they couldn't have afforded because they lost everything. And how this, this kind of thing can happen to me, I can have an earthquake tomorrow and my house would be destroyed. Their house is built and now we get to give them an outside, which is so necessary when you have those children. Superstorm Sandy affected 900 miles of American soil. There were people that were without power for six months. It affected people in the Great Lakes region. So it wasn't just this coastal region. But I heard one person say that there's 10 years worth of work here in New Jersey just to rebuild and get people back in their homes. Um, I'm Wendy Masaro. Uh, I live here in Union Beach and um, I'm a registered nurse. My 16-year-old son and I are um, regrouping again after the storm. We just started gutting everything and people came from everywhere. It was really um, amazing. It was amazing that the people bonded together and um, I couldn't gut my own house. It was like heart-wrenching so I went out with other crews and got out of other people's houses. And it's scary because you don't think that people still remember, you know, and we're still living this long process and um, I don't, I think it's a blessing that they're here, so I'm very appreciative. And this is where we are tearing everything out. I think we should be able to successfully get it all down here by the end of the day, God willing. Since this house was made of blocks, they can't raise it. So what they are having to do is abandon their first floor. They'll be taking the, the roof off and putting a third story on here. You know, in disasters, there seems to be that period of time that things have to be cleaned up before they can be rebuilt. And this is the bathroom that um, yesterday and today was my project. And it was all very nice with sheetrock and pretty blue walls, and now it's studs. I mean, last time um, we were working on building a house, and this time we were working on taking a house apart. So we got both ends of the story. <laughs> you really are accomplishing something. You know, you go through life pushing papers at an office, and I wrote, Professionally, I wrote reports that nobody read. 
you know, here you're actually doing something that matters for someone else. And that's not something that happens in a lot of, a lot of our, it didn't happen in a lot of my life. So there are just uh, places that you can go that you can do meaningful work uh, and uh, at your pace. We have people on this trip that are certainly over 75 uh, and uh, find that they can do a lot. Anyone can come, anyone can contribute. You don't have to have a prior work experience. <laughs> My wife will tell you that I can't even drive an nail straight. I may regret saying this, but I may even go back home and do some housework with the kind of diligence. <laughs> I feel like I got a little younger because I've been doing things that I haven't done for a long time and thought I couldn't do anymore. People have asked, why do you go so far? Well, you know, I want the world to feel a little smaller. I hope that everyone that is coming and all the volunteers really actually realize the impact that they're still making here because it's I know I speak for our whole community because we all are going through all of this when I say that it's a very big um, it takes so much stress off of what's already going on they just they find it hard to believe that a group would come all the way from California <laughs> to help with the rebuilding efforts <laughs> sorry uh, they just are super thankful, even those whose homes were damaged. <laughs> thankful. That's, that's the basic word. So we're just showing that, you know, we're there. We're there for people. <laughs> I've been given so much by God that I want to give back to my brothers and sisters. We're all on this planet together. We all suffer in different ways. And if there's somebody that needs help, I, you know, I want to be able to help. There St. Francis once said, always preach the gospel. If necessary, use words. And what we have been doing all week is preaching the gospel with hammers and levels and skill saws and helping people after two and a half years get back in their hands. The journey is not finished. There are still a number of families that need, need help and uh, we will continue with this program as, as long as the need is there. So for anybody who's gonna see this, if you wanna come out and volunteer, we'd be more than happy to help, have your help.